So uh, my name is Oliver Hall. Um, I run my own cyber security consultancy, but my claim to fame is uh, the Chief Information Security Officer for London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. It's a really good question and it's not necessarily uh, a particularly good career choice in my view. Um, if you think about it, with security, if everything is quiet and nothing happens, you're doing an extremely good job. If something goes wrong, it's inevitably your fault. So with hindsight, one looks back at uh, a career in security and thinks, mm, uh, maybe, maybe this isn't such a, such a good idea in terms of you know, uh, personal sort of PR. But having said that, you know, um, I look back on a, a sort of 25 year career, largely uh, within government actually, and then latterly in, into the private sector. Um, it's been a fascinating uh, career and obviously at the moment the pinnacle being working on the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games which you know anybody who was in London or even in the UK during that summer will recognize it was perhaps one of the nation's you know highlights for for many years well as a consultant it's a sort of slightly uh, uh, there isn't a typical day if I'm honest um, Having moved into the private sector and setting up my own company, um, so having worked for government for a long time, it's been quite a big change actually, but uh, a very refreshing change. And, and I think my career is now sort of taking off in a, in a, a very different direction. So working for myself ostensibly, I can to some extent choose um, some of the clients that I work for and some of the, the jobs that I do. Um, but what I really enjoy is, is bringing teams of people together uh, to solve particular problems, be it for a government department or agency, law enforcement, or even the private, uh, private corporations. Um, I also tend to do a lot of work on major events. So I'm helping the Japanese with their preparations for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. Um, well, I think the thing is, if you're looking at something like cyber security, you know, in a funny kind of way, the worst bits of the job is when you're sort of dealing with some form of breach. But at the same time, that's the most exciting bit. So you can't really have one without the other. As I sort of mentioned earlier uh, in my interview, you know, slightly tongue in cheek, you know, security, if it's done well, is, is boring. You know, it should be nothing happening. Um, but really, there's always something happening with security. There is always something that you, you need to deal with, whether it's dealing with an immediate emergency or whether it's looking at intelligence about potential uh, emergencies. Uh, for me, it's a, a terribly, um, I think, engaging, challenging, uh, thought-provoking uh, uh, career to be in. Well, I think these days um, there's, there's an awful lot of information. I, I mean, I look back to when I was at university and, and, I, and I'm, you know, I'm not a technical um, uh, person. I didn't study computer science. Um, I, in fact, studied uh, uh, war studies, which was a multidisciplinary degree, but, but was a, a very interesting degree. Um, but there was no information <laughs> about how to get into uh, the security industry or, or even uh, the cyber security industry. Now there's a, a plethora of information. Um, the government has, has invested quite a lot of money in a number of educational initiatives. So it is actually now um, much easier to, to get information. Crest in itself is a, is a great place to start. Um, they provide lots of information on you know, the types of education initiatives. And if you look at their website, you know, that will be a, a brilliant start. But even within probably your own academic institutions, um, there's now lots of information about um, cyber security and information security. I think the most important thing to think about if you're thinking of coming, uh, you know, getting into the cyber security industry is you don't necessarily have to come from a technical perspective. I mean, obviously that helps and you, it's really important to have some sort of ground or, or base level of, of understanding from a technical perspective. But there are a whole range of activities um, 
that relate to cybersecurity, you know, whether it's sort of a, a, an analysis of, of intelligence or looking at social engineering, um, looking at pu uh, public awareness or corporate awareness, um, and, and to strategy, which is what I've kind of ended up getting into, which doesn't actually necessarily um, rely on technical knowledge and technical capability. So I think you need to really think about in which direction you want to go. Um, and I think there are a number of avenues available.